I know the title is a bit outrageous, but trust me, anyone trying to use GIMP needs to know this. This video probably isn't for veterans out there, unless you didn't know about the issue or you don't see this as a issue. So it's been more than a year now I have been trying to learn and use GIMP, but there is one issue that I can't fix. So right now I'm using Krita for everything, but every now and then I download GIMP and try to switch to GIMP because there is something in GIMP that I really like. For example, it's lightweight compared to Krita and snapping works better in GIMP. You know, GIMP is the most popular uh, free alternative to Photoshop. Okay, Photoshop is the best software for photo editing and everything. So GIMP is the free version of Photoshop. It's actually good. But because of just one issue, I can't use GIMP. I just can't fix the issue so i keep using krita but every now and then i keep switching to gimp just hoping that i'll fix the issue and maybe i'll start using gimp for everything but that isn't happening okay so here i'm gonna give you guys an example let's say i'm designing something let's say thumbnail or something all right i put one image or object in here all right let's say this fire i don't want this to be this big all right i just want it to be small this small and i put it right there now i changed my mind i don't want this fire to be small i want it to be big all right now i'm gonna resize it make it big this big maybe and i'm gonna place it right there but there is a problem now this is the main issue you see how the fire is losing the quality. It already lost the quality when I resized it. Here is the same image that I just used in original form. Let's make it uh, as equal to this one, okay? Now, you can see there is a huge difference in quality. So this is the issue, <laughs> okay? I have been scratching my head for a whole year. It's been more than a year now, actually are trying to fix this issue i really like gimp it's free open source and uh, i recently even made video on uh, saying goodbye to adobe softwares and all that i switched from premiere pro to davinci resolve i even bought a davinci resolve studio because i really like it now for the photoshop i think krita and uh, gimp are the best options if you can gimp is the best because it's lightweight and works similarly to photoshop but because of this issue, I can't use GIMP. But now I finally know why this is happening, all right? Uh, first, let me show you guys an example. This is Krita. This is the one that I'm actually using uh, right now. I'm not using the GIMP yet. So here in Krita, I'm gonna do the same thing, all right? I'm gonna make it small, this small maybe, all right? Let's say I like this. No, I don't like it. I want this to be big, all right? Now I make it big. See, there is no quality loss. No matter how many times you resize or change its position or whatever, it keeps its quality in Krita. Same goes for Photoshop and other photo editing apps, but this isn't happening in GIMP. I have been looking for a solution all over the internet. I looked for tutorials and everything, but nobody is talking about this, nobody. But finally, I found this uh, Reddit thread. So it looks like this guy, Swazer, uh, 21 is having a same issue as mine all right so basically <laughs> scale tool how to resize image layers on gimp without losing quality so finally i found someone who has same issue as mine using gimp and yes i see this as the issue someone replied uh, this is called non-destructive editing as soon as i saw this reply and I totally understand what's happening here. So basically, it's not GIMP's fault. Maybe it is in some way. Basically, GIMP doesn't support non-destructive editing. So that's the thing GIMP is missing and I'm having issue. <laughs> All right. Now, I found another post on uh, Reddit saying non-destructive editing. Someone also replied, yeah, non-destructive editing is still not available but it is planned to implement it soon in 3.2 gimp 3.2 and guess what this post was five years ago so it looks like gimp's 3.0 development was started way earlier like maybe five or six seven years ago but this isn't out yet so if we check out the 
roadmap of GIMP and here we can actually see that non-destructive layers type is actually happening in GIMP. This is a good news, all right? Now I have to make another video titled Use GIMP Now because as soon as this thing comes out, I'm gonna have to switch to GIMP. So this is the only problem with the GIMP that it doesn't have non-destructive editing. But now with the GIMP 3.0.2, it looks like it is gonna have the non-destructive editing. And I have also seen some videos on beta version of GIMP that uh, somewhat of non-destructive editing is already out, but it's in beta and you know, beta versions of softwares are sometimes buggy and all that. And guess what? GIMP 3 is actually coming really, really soon. It's coming in May 2024 all right so it's march april may yeah actually only two months left <laughs> yeah after two months i'm gonna have to you know update this video too so the reason i'm making this video is simple i have been trying to fix an issue in a gimp that isn't a issue it's a feature that isn't in gimp <laughs> okay but it looks like soon after a month or two uh, I will be able to actually use GIMP. Yeah, finally, it's happening. Because GIMP is lightweight compared to Krita. Yeah, Krita is also great. It has its own pros and cons. GIMP is much simpler to use uh, if you have ever used a Photoshop. Krita is actually mainly for, you know, animations and drawing and all that. GIMP is like Photoshop, but free. And it actually works great. This is the only one thing I need in uh, GIMP the non-destructive editing this non-destructive editing feature is actually the most requested feature in GIMP that I didn't know okay uh, and I scratched my head for whole actually almost more than a year and uh, finally I know that this is the thing <laughs> okay so yeah that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this do you use GIMP and did you know about this uh, issue or did you know that GIMP doesn't support non-destructive editing? When you do complex editing, like do design or something, and later if you want to change something, it is actually going to give you a whole lot of trouble because you know when you change something, you won't be able to get the same quality. So that's why this is an issue for me. But again, as I said, soon GIMP will have the non-destructive editing, and that day <laughs> there will be another video. Okay, saying that use GIMP now. Yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or you want to discuss, you can always do the comment and we can have some discussions in the comment section too. And try to help out each other and try to discuss with each other. And I'll try my best to join you there in the comments. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.